Hey there, welcome to another Hidden Gems, and we're getting close to the end of this series, but I do want to tell you that we have some really good episodes coming up to end this series, and this one is no exception. Today we're going to be talking about the Pulex brand. Out of price, performance, quality, comfort, and style, which one would be the defining characteristic of this line of products? I would say price, 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 price. Almost every product that, I'm, that we're gonna talk about is the least expensive in its class. And if it's not the least expensive, it's one of the better priced things. And so what excites me about this brand of product is that if you get overwhelmed by the variety and the wide vast sea of product that's out there you can just stick to, to Pulex when you're getting started you'll get some nice quality tools at a good price and you can get to work whether it's residential or whether it's commercial storefront so the first thing that we're going to talk about is the Pulex aluminum squeegee so here I have a it's either 10 or 12 inch, uh, but it's extremely light. It comes with a Pulex soft rubber in it. I really like the aluminum because it's just so light. It's just so light. And if you're carrying uh, multiple squeegees on your tool belt, it's not gonna weigh it down in the least. And the aluminum is very strong as well. It performs well. Uh, aluminum, I wouldn't say it's the most attractive, but it's comfortable in the hand and it's going to last you a good long time. <clears throat> Next up is the Technolite. So the Technolite has a quick release handle, uh, same as the aluminum squeegee, by the way. Forgot to mention that. And the Technolite has teeth, just like you'd find on the Mormon handles, uh, two teeth. And the Technolite stainless steel channels have ridges on them so that you can get perfect center every time. It's a clipless channel, so the rubber will slide around in the channel. Um, keep in mind that on all of the Pulex channels, I had to cut off an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch off the, the actual rubber because it hung off the sides so much. Now, I didn't cut it so that it was flush to the channel. I did leave a little bit uh, so that there'd be some uh, cushion between the channel and the sill. But you probably will find that if you don't do that, you're gonna leave lines on your turns. So the Technolite it has an ergonomic handle. It's very comfortable to use. And uh, you can use this with the liquidator channels if you wanted to but the, these stainless steel Technolite channels are also very modestly and reasonably priced. So you can get set up uh, with them. You can also put the Unger S channels and the S channel pluses in here if you want a dog-eared channel. So keep that in mind. Uh, moving on, we have the uh, Pulex Stutzy fixed handle in red. So it's, it's pretty comfortable. It's not tapered, so it's, uh, it's got a barrel shape or you know just a cylindrical shape to it. It's a long handle and also uh, is a clipless uh, channel that goes in it. You can use this with their aluminum channels. You can also put their brass channels in, in these channels. By the way, their brass channels are also the most uh, reasonably priced. They're the least expensive brass channels you'll find out there. I use these in my ledger video. These are the, the brass channels that were in my ledgers. And I just find them to be, there's no difference in quality than any other brass channel. So why not go for the one that's least expensive? <clears throat> uh, the, the Pulex Stutzy handle features a quick release lever. This is uh, bo found both on the fixed handle and on the swivel handle. It's got uh, thick plastic for the handle and 
it performs very well on deep ledges when you're doing storefront. So you could you can have the best of both wor worlds. You don't need a wide body channel, which generally carries with it, you know, the handle that has the greater angle on it to close out on deep sills. You can have the good handle, and if you prefer the standard channels, then you can use those too. And uh, I just find that as soon as I started using this, I was I, I just said to myself, oh wow, this is, this is a really nice, you know, this performs really well. Which brings us to the Pulex Stutzy Swivel. And so this handle is tapered, and I actually find this one more comfortable than the fixed handle. But this, this handle also uh, features a quick release lever on it, and the swivel on it performed uh, middle of the road. It wasn't as good as the Sorbo, <clears throat> but uh, in hand, it's actually quite comfortable, and I would rather use this one in hand than the fixed. I have in here an 18 inch aluminum, and uh, again, it performed very well, and you're going to get the good closeouts on deep cells. So this brings us to some of the other products that Pulex carries, and uh, for instance, we have their hip bucket. Uh, this is a pretty good hip bucket. It's, it's not bad. I was using it for a while, and I really had no complaints. I had to... It didn't hang quite right, so I had to take the clip off, and then I just attached it to my belt at the height that I preferred. You can fit one wide-body channel squeegee in the middle slot, and then you can fit two standard channels in the other two slots. You cannot fit the Younger Ninja in the wide body slot, so keep that in mind. The clips are too big on the Ninja. Uh, so if you if you have Ninjas, just get the Ninja hip bucket. It'll just save you a lot of trouble and just spend the extra money. But the Pulex uh, hip bucket actually isn't is one of the items that isn't really priced uh, competitively versus others. It's one of the more expensive hip buckets at around twenty five bucks, but uh, it does have a nice blue color to it, and uh, you know it serves its purpose. I didn't, I wasn't fighting with it, and the squeegees were not falling out of it, which is most. That's the most annoying thing. Finally, uh, too, I keep. I, I almost forgot the Alamax is their wide body channel. Now, again, this is uh, going to be a very competitively competitively priced channel. But what I would say, the handle isn't bad. The Alamax handle isn't bad, it's just that there's no quick release on it. Uh, so Luke and Rihanna didn't really care for the, the handle. I actually kind of liked the handle. It's not very stylish. It's kind of gorky, but um, but it performs well. I mean, it, it it closes out nicely on deep ledges. It just doesn't have the Ettore quick clip, quick release doesn't fit on it. <laughs> so that presents a little bit of a problem. So what I would say is get the Alamax channel, but go, go ahead and get the Unger Ninja handle. Uh, or get the Ettore Contour wide body handle. But my number one choice, I, I would say no matter what uh, wide body you're using, use the Unger Ninja. <laughs> it's just the best handle. It's got the most features, it's the most durable, it's the most comfortable. It just performs the best, and it comes in 40 degrees and 30 degrees, depending on your preference. So, if you're just getting set up, then you'll find great value because you'll be able to get some quality tools much better than anything you'll find at Home Depot or Lowe's. And you'll also, um, it, it'll make your shopping so much quicker too, because you'll just be sticking to one brand. So, that is the hidden gems. That is the Poolex brand. Until, na until next time, Window Cleaning Resource and my channel, The Window Cleanse, we thank you for listening. Please subscribe and hit the bell if you like what you're hearing, and we will talk soon. Have a great day in your business.